This gate remains locked after hours here at APS's Food and Nutritional Services building on Louisiana and Lomas, but employees say this is not enough to stop thieves. Everybody is on edge. Surveillance video shows two men in the parking lot, one of them peering inside the red truck. When the camera pans back, they drive away in it. APS employees who park in the lot every day say that truck did not belong to them. All the personnel that I have talked to, they are afraid. They're on edge that something's going to happen to their vehicle or something might even happen worse to them. Art Medina has been working for the district's Food and Nutritional Services Department since it moved to this location about two years ago. I showed him the court documents I obtained about the number of auto theft cases reported to APS police and APD. I had seven cases. Well, that's nothing. Take a look at the parking lot on a weekday. There are open spaces everywhere. Medina says this lot used to be full. They're being dropped off. They're having to take the bus. He says some of his colleagues are too afraid to park at work. And when he brings up the issue to his managers. Some of the answers that I've gotten is like, well, Art, that's why we pay insurance. Uh, Art, I guess it's time for you to start to take a bus. So what's the solution? Medina says the employee parking lot needs to have a gate surrounding it. We have our own means of getting into the building using a security code or using our cards. He says a gate surrounding this lot should work the same way. Just like this gate here, but it only protects APS vehicles. Reporting in Albuquerque, Justin Matthews, KOAT, Action 7 News.